Hi everyone. Back in April, I found out I needed to be back in Scotland five weeks from the moment I found out. And at the time I had a friend living in Paris who'd been trying to get me to come visit. And I thought, you know what? I've only got a few things to clear up in Salt Lake City. Uh, and then I really have nothing else to do stateside. So might as well head over a few weeks early. And that's what you saw in my 6,500 miles and a few chaotic days video. I stayed in Paris for a few days, but my friend of course has his own life. So I didn't want to just hang out in Paris and bug him the whole time. And I thought, you know what? I'm somewhat near Morocco, which I had originally had a flight to on March 13th, 2020, and obviously never got to get to. So I thought, you know what? I'll fly down to Morocco and I'm just gonna keep doing some stuff uh, in between now and when I need to be in Scotland. And so that's what I did. And I recorded everything and prioritized putting out videos that are more in line with what I usually put out, uh, goal-oriented videos. You know, whether I'm cycling to all the Scottish football stadiums or hiking Ben Nevis, you know, there's usually a goal. Um, so I put those videos out and everything else is more sort of vlog footage and I didn't really touch it for a while and I've only just gotten around to touching it and so that's what this video is is the vlog footage of me going down to Morocco and just killing time in Europe booking flights hotels a day or two in advance just figuring things out I knew I was going to Italy a week after Morocco on a vacation with this same friend who lived in Paris and some other friends and then I would have more time again in between then and getting to Scotland. And so this is the first part of the footage of me just sort of killing time in Europe between arriving in Paris and needing to be in Scotland. Leaving Paris now. Uh, a little French flag. No, well, sort of leaving now. Leaving in, like, getting ready to live. Actively in the process of leaving. Just need to, um, find Moroccan currency somewhere, and I have a lead. Uh, just gotta remember where it was. Pretty sure it was down this road, and then I left, but we'll find out. Made it through uh, customs and after 25 months finally made it to Morocco. Very nice night walking around Tangier. I got here and my cat, hold on, I have to cross the street and I don't want to die. I got in the cab at the airport about 10 minutes before the fast for Ramadan ended. Uh, and so we were in the car, we were in the cab at sundown and the cab driver and I, we split this fruit uh, that he had, super nice guy. And now I've just, I've just been wandering around. It's been really exciting getting to see uh, a whole new country on a whole continent I've never been to. So I'm, I'm very glad I did this. As I was getting ready this morning, like brushing my teeth and all that, uh, one of the guys who runs the hostel was like, do you wanna go see some caves? And I was like, sure. And just got in the car with these people right there and that's where I am right now, I'm in a cave. Isn't that cool? Tangier Airport now, heading back to Paris. Uh, it's a great trip.
back in Paris, which is sort of being used as uh, my base while in Europe. Uh, I'm off three hours of sleep right now. Didn't get to shower in the morning. Uh, so not doing amazing. I have a bus to Luxembourg in a few hours. It's 4 p.m. right now. I think the bus is at 11.30 p.m. Uh, and I, I booked a hostel for tonight because I assumed I would get on a bus tomorrow, but that's not what happened. Uh, so I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna go to the hostel and take a nap and I'm gonna get some work done on the computer and then check out, get on a bus to Luxembourg. That's uh, it's a seven hour journey. It's three hours to Metz. Uh, and then I get to hang out there at 3 a.m. for about an hour and a half and then the bus to Luxembourg leaves. And also didn't see this until I started recording. Look at the Eiffel Tower. Isn't that fun? Okay. Uh, yeah. Bye. Mm -hmm. It is 9.20ish right now. I've just checked out of the hostel that I checked into like three hours ago. Uh, didn't end up sleeping because I couldn't fall asleep, uh, but I showered and I ate and I got some work done. Now, yeah, now, now heading to the, the overnight bus. Woo. Welcome to Metz uh, in the east of France, where it's currently uh, 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and I'm outside for the next two and a half hours and shivering. <laughs> Hopefully this goes by somewhat fast, but I'm about to put on uh, as many layers as possible. Right, I've put on something in the neighborhood of seven layers. Uh, just, I, I went full overkill, but I'm not shivering now. Uh, I even have the, the mask on for warmth. Uh, an insanely underrated extra use of these is keeping your face warm. Um, yeah, still, still two and a half hours to go. Right, I've decided to take a stroll around Metz because I can't be bothered to stand on that parking lot for two and a half hours. Uh, realistically, I'm not gonna go that far and I'm gonna end up standing in the parking lot for two hours, but it's something to do to kill some time and just just see what's up. There's, it doesn't look like there's much up. There's just buildings. This could be anywhere in the world. But, uh, who knows, maybe I stumble upon something really cool. That I've never known about. Uh, and then you'll get to know about it. And that's that's also really cool. Uh, so if there is, you'll find out in a second. There appears to be a pathway to a river over here. I'm gonna check out. I keep thinking my own shadow is another person. And I'm like, oh, who's that? Where'd they come from? And then it's like, oh yeah, that's that's me. This has honestly been pretty solid. I'm enjoying myself. Just walking around, staying warm. It feels a lot cooler than it actually is. Because I feel like I'm way overdressed for 39 degrees, but I, I feel perfectly dressed right now. It's just, it's just nice. Just stroll around in mats at four or something in the morning. Yeah. Honestly, just bored now. Got tired of walking around. So, having a lie down. Mm -hmm. 
All right, welcome to Luxembourg. The sun is up now, as you can see, or at least it's, yeah, yeah, it is up. I saw it a few minutes ago. Uh, the sun's up. It hasn't gotten too much warmer though. Uh, so keeping with the, uh, the fit, though there's about five less layers on right now. Um, yeah, I obviously, I can't check into my hostel at seven in the morning. Uh, check-in is at one. So I've got six hours to kill. Uh, I haven't really figured out what to do for all six. I'm sure it won't be hard to kill it. It might be hard. I, who knows? But heading in the direction that I believe uh, the center of Luxembourg City is... Uh, and I'm not checking on the map. If it's the wrong direction, I have six hours to figure it out. I, I really, like, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Hostel. I'm very tired and I just want to go to sleep but I've got to keep myself awake for a bit if I don't want to mess up my sleep schedule even worse so yeah I'm just gonna hang out and try to not fall asleep I've showered changed uh, as you can see uh into a, a not clean shirt i think i'm out of clean shirts but that's i'm i'm, I'm too tired to do i don't that's too much effort to do laundry today um i'm trying to do some editing right now uh i'm like multiple videos behind on editing as of tomorrow i think i'll be like i'll have done like four or five videos that i have not edited yet i'm right now i'm trying to import files for the salt lake city train video because i have not they're all stored in the cloud and I haven't had a stable enough internet for a long enough amount of time to get them all off of the cloud. So I have like little chunks of it all taken off. And now I'm just sitting here trying to import everything. Yeah, that's life right now. I was also supposed to shave too and I have not gotten around to it because I don't want to get out of the bed. Hello, it is the morning. I'm fully too well rested. Leaving the hostel now. Off to catch a bus to the Belgian border where I'm going to begin the walking across Luxembourg video. Should be a good day. Hello everyone. I don't have my tripod with me. So the camera is propped on a table.